Hi, this is Steve Powers. Uh, today I'm going to talk to you about a uh, free online uh, tool. This is a gamut mask tool. It's um, at livepaintinglessons.com, gamutmask.php. Um, it is uh, brought to us by Richard Robinson, and um, he's a professional uh, painter as well. And uh, it is a very, very useful uh, tool in creating gamut masks. And uh, if you're not familiar with what gamut masks are, they are uh, basically you, you, you would take your color wheel here, whether it's uh, your standard or your, your RMB. Um, I, I prefer standard, but what have you. And then what you do is you um, take a shape, and um, the whatever shape it is, it um, determines uh, or limits the colors of uh, the color wheel, um, allowing you to um, uh, keep your color palette um, uh, rather, uh, I won't say simple or basic, but uh, more refined. And um, from this, uh, if you co of course you can see you have a lot of pre quite a few predetermined um, uh, patterns. Um, here we could uh, paint most of our um, painting uh, with these colors and then use uh, the smaller one as your highlight. Uh, that's essentially what it's used for. And of course, you normally would do the brighter, saturated one, but not necessarily. Um, on top of that, um, if you wanted to uh, make your own, uh, he uh, also uh, has uh, some tools built in here. You can uh, cut your own mask, your fill um, uh, areas um, manually. And of course, you can save and print. Um, in this case, if you wanted to uh, print, it's uh, suggested to uh, print to a photo paper. Um, this allows you to uh, capture the uh, colors accurately. For me, as long as I keep my screen calibrated, um, I can save this out. Um, since I'm a digital artist, I like to save it out as a, as an image of its own. So what I do is I just take a screenshot of it uh, using a, a free program called GreenShot. So if I hit Control uh, Print in this case, I can take. Uh, I have a shot of that um, gamut that I just uh, created. Um, from there, I can uh, import it into Photoshop and uh, create a, uh, a custom palette um, utilizing uh, all these colors or some of these colors, you know, but they're within this range. Um, here, um, uh, 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 Richard Robinson also um, gives you how to use it. And in this case, um, he has uh, taken, uh, he created no game in here. This is just a grayscale, but he's used five values instead of mixing, you know, 10 or 20 different values, which y you can, it, but it gets muddy. It's, uh, you lose your consistency. And that's really what this is uh, uh, designed to do, is to help you to um, create a working palette uh, that you can stay in. Personally, I have a hard time with colors. So um, this is a, uh, more, more like a, an essential tool for myself. Um, because I have a hard time choosing colors. I tend to use too many. So if you're in that case, uh, in that same situation, this is perfect for you. Now here you can see he's used uh, three different uh, shapes and created uh, 15 colors from each um, gamut. Um, he could have used more, but he, you know, there's no reason to. Um, and matter of fact, even uh, after you're creating uh, this uh, um, uh, palette, you don't uh, necessarily have to use all the colors as well. So from there, um, hopefully uh, this has um, this uh, tool you can actually use um, in a practical manner and uh, apply it and um, I thought it was definitely worth uh, pointing out as long as he stays online I guess we have this so um, you have a good day and uh, hopefully this helps